morning guys welcome back to another vlog it's monday today and it is feeling like fall it's what august 19th and it is the most fall day ever which like i'm not happy about i'm trying to hang on to summer as much as we can especially since our backyard kind of got finished late so we're just kind of enjoying it now and now that we're trying to enjoy it it's turning into fall but i'm hoping that it's just like a day here and there that's feeling like fall and we still have a bit of summer. I'm not quite yet ready to get into the fall mood, the fall decor. I usually am, like come August, I'm like ready for it. But like I said, I just want to hold on to summer a little bit more to enjoy the back, the sun, get some more of a tan, um, and then full force into fall. Mind you, like my whole TikTok and everything is all about fall. So it's like hard not to, but we're actually going to Target next weekend. Well, this weekend that's coming up because it's Monday. So we're going to Target this weekend. So I'm actually going to do a full fall shopping vlog next week, which I'm so excited for. I have to go through what I have already for fall just to see because I feel like I'll buy stuff every year and then I don't really remember what I bought. So I feel like if you don't get your hands on fall stuff in August, when you're looking for it come September and October, it's sold out. So gonna get my shopping done. I'll literally put it away in the basement until I'm ready to take it out. I mean, unless it just goes full force fall, then we'll get started early, but that's the plan for next week. Today, I actually am going to get my extensions put in. I never pull my own extensions out. And for some reason this weekend, mind you, I probably knew that my appointment was coming up today. I pulled them all out and I like never do that. And before I was like thinking and considering taking a break from extensions, but now that I see my hair and how thin it is, I don't know if I could ever take a break, but I feel like I should, it'll be healthy for my hair. I'm thinking maybe like January, but I always say that, but guys, I'm like so embarrassed, but this is my hair. It's so thin. The top's like heavier than the bottom. I feel like it looks like I kind of have a mullet, but this is my real hair, guys, which is like so crazy because I'm so used to extensions. I had them for like a year and a half now, but yeah, they're going back in today. I'm not quite yet ready to take them out, but yeah, gonna get my hair done today. I actually have a nail appointment to go fix my nails because I got them done and like two days later, half of them all checked so a busy day with appointments might stop at home sense and i'll bring you guys along for the day i hope this camera doesn't die because my sister has my charger but if it does i will just record on my iphone for the rest of today I picked up a new laptop yesterday i traded in my old one because it was just so slow not working and every time i had to go into work i literally did not have a computer to bring with me so it was time i also wanted it so that i could like work from outside or like work from coffee shops so i'm not always at home in my office working because that just gets exhausting being in the same room by myself the whole time so bought a new laptop i'm excited for i need to set it up which i thought i was going to do this morning while i had some time because my appointments are in the afternoon and i just went with the macbook air i feel like i always get the air and I went with the 15 inch because I'm honestly blind. Oh, nothing like a fresh new laptop. I swear the last time I got it was when I was in university, which is like, feels like forever ago. And I got the dark color. I don't want to open it because it's so fresh. Gorge, I'm so excited to use it. And like to edit vlogs on here now, I can like, edit vlogs on the go i'm so excited i literally want to be able to put out two vlogs a week like that is the goal i have for myself for fall so crisp okay i'm gonna finish setting this up i need to get some work done this morning because like i said this afternoon i'm gonna be out and about but i will pick up the camera this afternoon take you along to my appointments home sense and whatever else we get up to. Hi guys, I just got done with my hair and nails and I love my hair. I didn't style it or anything. I was in a rush to get to my nail appointment, but 
I love my extensions. I feel like every time I say I'm gonna take a break, I take them out, I hate my hair, and then I put them back in and I'm like, yes, this is what my hair always needs to look like. Sorry, it's so dark, it's so bright outside now. Got me a iced coffee from McDonald's because it's like, what is it, it's so late five o'clock and I'm like crashing so I needed a coffee and I'm about to hop into HomeSense which again I don't really need anything unless I see something because I want to hold off and really shop when we go to um, Target this weekend but again I feel like sometimes HomeSense in Canada here has some good stuff so we're just gonna do a walk through peek around see if there's anything I can't resist but if not I'll kind of just show you guys what they have Oh my gosh, all of the pumpkins. This is my favorite candle brand from HomeSense. I might have to get it because the candle is so cute itself and it smells pretty good. Look at all of the pumpkins. I love all the greens. I'm loving the acorns, especially for like Thanksgiving decor too. There's so many glass pumpkins, which are literally Pottery Barn dupes. It's such a pretty chair too. $2.99, not too bad. We have two of them. It'd be super cute for like a corner of a bedroom. All of the fall blankets. I really do want one. They have different colors. Maybe we could find a cute one that's like more neutral than colorful. Let me look through these. This one is so pretty. Do I get it or wait for Target? Just got back home and I thought I would do my Aritzia unboxing and then also show you what I picked up from HomeSense. I ended up just grabbing this cute plaid throw blanket and I thought for the fall on the couch would be so cute. It was $29.99, which I think was a great price and it's so soft. So that was my find. Again, I need to go through what I have to see because I just remembered I have another brown blanket, but it's not patterned, so it's fine. Then from Aritzia, I have been playing pickleball and in my summer haul, I showed like this pink set that I got and I wore it to pickleball last week and I loved it so much so I picked up another bra because I already have the biker short so I was like let's make another set even in the fall if I get the matching leggings I can use this bra so I love this color it is the vintage navy and I got a size small love that and then for my fall sweater that I bought which I don't know if I'm gonna keep because I feel like I also have a similar sweater to this just the piping color is different which again I never realized until I went into my closet after I made this purchase and said I literally have something so similar but I feel like you can never have too many so ooh, it's so nice it is the Polar fleece. Typing is this green color, which I love green, especially for the fall and winter. But I have a similar one that's like with black piping from Revolve, but this is cute too. I'm gonna try it on. If I don't get my makeup on this sweater. Oh. That color is so pretty. What do we think? Keep or return? I feel like I need to look at myself in the mirror, but I got a size medium. Where's the tag? Is there no tag? I got a size medium and let me know what you guys think. Keep or return? I have one, like I said, this color, but black piping and it's just not from Maritzia. And that was my quick little haul of the day. Always love getting packages especially on a Monday, makes my Monday a little bit brighter. 
I'm gonna quickly put this away and then I'm gonna be back in the kitchen and I'm going to start making dinner. I'm gonna do an egg roll bowl, which is super quick and easy. So I'll show you guys how I make that because it's such a quick and easy weeknight recipe. I'm about to start making dinner. I already got my rice ready to go. I usually just pick up this one from the grocery store. I've been liking it recently. Um, so make sure you wash your rice first and then I add cremini mushrooms. You don't need to add them, but just to give it a little something extra, I add the mushrooms. Then I pick up just this pack of coleslaw from the grocery store, lean ground beef, and then I like to use this soy sauce. It is the naked and saucy less sodium one and i just been buying this recently so that's my go-to you can add green onions i just forgot them so i'm going to start off by cooking my rice and my ground beef so once the meat is like pretty much browned but not all the way through i'm going to add in the mushrooms to like start cooking and then i just like added salt pepper just a little bit of salt because like with the soy sauce it does add salt to it. So salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. And then this is kind of when I would also add in the chili oil, but like I said, I don't have any. So I'm just gonna let those cook through. And then my rice is still going. I wanna say this takes like under 20 minutes, which is like pretty good for like a fast weekday meals. I'll typically make this on Wednesdays when I go like horseback riding, just because I'm out of the house for like between five to six, which is like dinner time. I just prefer to do something quick on Wednesdays, but because I was out of the house today, came home late, I figured we'll do a swap and have this today, and then I'll just be better about prepping my Wednesday meal. Now, when that's all cooked through, we're going to dump in the coleslaw. Probably could have used a bigger pan, but it'll cook down. And then I'm gonna add a bunch of this soy sauce. And then I also have the same brand, but it's like a teriyaki. I think I'm gonna add some of that just to give it a little bit more flavor. And then we're gonna mix it up so it kind of cooks down, which you could like kind of tell once it kind of gets all mixed up and like cooked down, you'll know when it's ready. Okay, so I'm gonna add my rice in my bowl at the bottom. And it's literally just a deconstructed egg roll, pretty much. So I'm gonna eat my dinner now. Mike is home late, so I'm not waiting for him because I'm so hungry. Especially since I was like out of the house all day. Usually I'll have like snacks here and there. And because I was out all afternoon, I like barely snack. So I'm gonna eat my dinner that was so easy to make and it honestly smells so good. It's gonna tidy up the kitchen. And then I started watching One Tree Hill. I've never watched One Tree Hill before, which people think I'm crazy for not watching it before, but I feel like fall is around the corner. Everyone is into like One Tree Hill or watching Gilmore Girls in the fall, which I also haven't watched. So I'm getting a head start on my fall shows. And yesterday I started episode one, season one. So probably gonna watch that tonight and then I'll pick back up tomorrow morning. Good morning guys it is Wednesday today I'm like losing track of the days but thought I would start my morning outside I have my laptop I could work outside thank god made my coffee I've been loving these cups that I got recently off of Amazon 
and it just makes my iced coffees taste so much better when I'm like drinking out of a cute glass so I also feel like I never really did a backyard tour so maybe we'll start with that this morning just to kind of do a little walk through so you guys could see obviously I think I did it before and it was like literally grass and dirt so it's all done now my furniture is out sorry it is like so sunny this morning but yeah let me show you guys what I got so far it's not done we're doing like more next summer but I'm like let's hold off on like the gazebo the outdoor kitchen this year because it's already like the end of summer so we'll do that next year in the spring I'm hoping but got the essential furniture that I need to like spend time out here and relax by the pool well, my dining set is from urban barn it was such a great price but this is sold out you have to buy it like first thing in the spring and then I also picked up this rug from urban barn and this I got recently it was on sale so you might be lucky they might still have it but I love the color and the pattern to it the end chairs I got off of article which I wanted like comfy chairs for the end and for them to be different than the rest just because I love when they're two statement head chairs so I got those which they're so comfy and they actually matched the set perfectly so I'm happy about that these kind of lounge sitting chairs were a steel and a half I got them at HomeSense and they had so many different colors literally $50 each such a steal and I just thought for more like seating back here if we have like guests and stuff or more like a lounge kind of vibe so I loved those and they kind of went with my color tones anyways these loungers I showed in another vlog when I first got them they're from Rove Concepts and they come in white and black but I went with white and I honestly love them so much they're so comfortable so we got four towels I got off of Pottery Barn which I'll open up and show for you but I love them and I think they still have them there on sale and they were quite comparable to other towels I was looking at so I went with those because they matched the umbrellas that I got from article clearly I'm going with a striped white and beige theme so that's why I kind of got those even like the floaty I got from fun boy which I'll show you same color tones and with the stripes so kind of the vibe I'm going for these which I found recently are called I'll link them below but they're called Veradec I think and they double as an umbrella holder and a side table so at first I had no idea what I was going to do because I needed an umbrella and a table and then I came across these and I'm like duh genius because now I don't have to have like two things and like fill up the space with both a stand and a table so this worked out perfectly and they actually have cute coolers so if you don't want an umbrella they have them and they're like coolers when you open them up they're so cool and they come in a few different colors highly highly recommend I got mine off of Amazon but you could get them off the site this is our pool which I I'm obsessed with it makes our backyard actually look so much bigger when I thought it would make it look smaller because it's like a pretty decent size but we love and then I got two of these floaties from I got these off of revolve they're just like the fun boy floaties which I thought were cute and again I got them because I saw them and I was like I need them they match the whole vibe I'm going for I am just getting ready to leave for the movies I'm going with my friend to watch it ends with us and I'm honestly so excited because I read the book a long time ago and I don't really remember everything. So I'm excited to go. I'm probably going to be hot on my way there because it's nice out now. But I know the theater is going to be so cold. Just wearing some cozy clothes. I'm put on this Adenola sweater, Lulu leggings, and I'm wearing my golden socks and some Burt. Honestly, this outfit is getting me excited for fall. We're going to head out. I want to grab something to eat because I'm starving going to grab some snacks for the movie to bring in with us and then I'm so excited to watch the film I'm sure like so many of you guys already watched it so I'm so excited mm -hmm. 